linear combination. And it's the most fundamental operation in the whole course. It's a linear combination of the columns. That's what we're seeing on the left side. Again, I don't want to write down a big definition. You, you can see what it is. There's column one, there's column two. I multiply by some numbers, and I add. That's a combination, a linear combination, and I want to make those numbers the right numbers to produce zero, three. Okay. Now I want to draw a picture that uh, represents what this, this is algebra, what's the geometry, what's the picture that goes with it. Okay, so again, these vectors have two components, so I better draw a picture like that. So can I put down these columns? I'll draw these columns as they are, and then I'll do, do a combination of them. So the first column, is over two and down one, right? So there's the first column. The first column, column one. It's the vector two minus one. The second column is, let's see, I go over minus one is the first component and up two, it's here. There's column two. So this, again, you see what its components are. Its components are minus one, two. Good. That's this guy. Now, what is, what, now I have to take a combination. Uh, what combination shall I take? Uh, why not the right combination? What the hell? Okay. So, what the combination I'm going to take is the right one to produce zero, three, and, let, and then we'll see it happen in the picture. So the right combination is to take x as one of those and two of these. It's because we already know that that's the right x and y, so why not take the correct combination here and see it happen? Okay, so how do I picture this, this linear combination? So I start with this vector, that's already here. So that's one of column one, that's one times column one right there, and now I want to add on, so I'm going to hook the next vector on to the front of the arrow, we'll start the next vector, and it'll go this way, so let's see, can I do it right? Uh, if I added on one of these vectors, it would go left one and up two, so it would go left one and up two, so it would probably get us to there, maybe I'll do dotted line for that, okay? That's one of column two tucked on to the end, but I wanted to tuck on two of column two. So that, the second one will go up left one and up two also. It'll probably end there, and there's another one. So, so what I've put in here is two of column two. Added on. And where did I end up? What are the coordinates of this result? What do I get when I take one of this plus two of that? Uh, I do get that, of course. There it is, there it is. X is zero, Y is three, that's B. That's the, that's the answer we wanted. And how do I do it? You see, I do it just like the first component, I have a two and a, and a minus two, that produces a zero. And in the second component, I have a minus one and a four. They combine to give the three. Look at this picture. So th here's our key picture. I, I combine this column and this column to get, maybe I better, to get this guy. That was the B. That's the zero, three. Okay. So uh, that idea of linear combinations is crucial, and, and also, do we want to think about this question? Sure, why not? what are all the combinations? If I took, can I go back to x's and y's? This is a, this is a question for really, it's, it's going to come up over and over, but why don't we see it once now? If I took all the x's and all the y's, all the combinations, 
what would be all the results? And actually, the result would be that I could get any right-hand side at all. The combinations of this and this would fill the whole plane. You can tuck that away. We'll uh, explore it further. But this idea of what linear combination gives B and what do all the linear combinations give, what are all the possible achievable right-hand sides B, that's going to be basic. OK, can I move to three equations and three unknowns? Because it's easy to uh, picture the two by two case. Let me do a three by three example. OK, I'll, I'll sort of start it the same way, say maybe 2x minus y, and maybe I'll take no, no z's as a 0, and maybe a minus x and a 2y, and maybe a minus z is a, oh, let me make that a minus 1. And uh, just for variety, let me take uh, um, minus 3z, minus 3y's. I should keep the y's in that line. And 4z's is, say, 4. OK, that's three equations. I'm in three dimensions, x, y, z. And uh, I don't have a solution yet. So I want to understand the equations and then solve them. OK, so how do, I, how do you understand them? The row picture is one way. The column picture is another very important way. Just let's remember the matrix form here, because that's easy. The matrix form, what's our matrix A? Our matrix A is this right-hand side, the 2 and the minus 1 and the 0 from the first row, the minus 1 and the 2 and the minus 1 from the second row, the 0, the minus 3, and the 4 from the third row. So it's a 3 by 3 matrix. Three equations, three unknowns. And what's our right-hand side? Of course, it's the vector 0, minus 1, 4. OK. So that's the way, uh, well, that's the shorthand to write out the three equations. But it's the picture that I'm looking for today. OK. So the row picture. All right. So I'm in three dimensions, x, y, and z. And I want to take those equations one at a time and ask and make a picture of all the points that satisfy. Let's take equation number two. If I make a picture of all the points that satisfy, all the x, y, z points that solve this equation, well, first of all, the origin is not one of them. x, y, z being 0, 0, 0 would not solve that equation. So what, what are some points that do solve the equation? Let's see, maybe if x is 1, y and z could be 0. That would work, right? So there's one point. I'm looking at this second equation here just uh, to start with. Let's see, also I guess if z, z could be 1, x and y could be 0, so that would just go straight up that axis. And uh, probably I want a third point here. Uh, let me take x to be uh, 0. Let's say x to be 0, z to be 0. Then y would be minus a half, right? So there's a third point somewhere. Oh, my. OK. Uh, let's see. I want to put in all the points that satisfy that equation. D do you know what? that bunch of points will be, it's a plane. If we have a linear equation, then fortunately, the graph of the thing, the, the plot of all the points that solve it, are a plane. So I, and three, these three points determine a plane, but uh, your lecture is not Rembrandt, and uh, this, the art is going to be uh, the weak point here. So I'm just going to draw a plane, right? There's a plane somewhere. That's my plane. 
that, draw, that, that, that plan